Hurricane Fiona slamming the Dominican Republic today with severe rain and winds as strong as 85 miles per hour. It's not targeting the U.S., but Fiona's path of destruction is not over. It is expected to bring stormy conditions to more Caribbean islands over the next 24 hours after battering Puerto Rico on Sunday. News Nation's Kelly Beeson joins us now. And Kelly, power was essentially knocked out on the entire island. Yeah, it was, Nicole, and the governor warned that it could take days to get the lights back on, estimating the damages are now in the billions of dollars. Puerto Rico powerless. The U.S. territory underwater after Hurricane Fiona made landfall. Catastrophic damage spread across the island. The Category 1 hurricane brought winds as high as 85 miles per hour, ripping away roofs, uprooting trees, and crumbling homes. This bridge being swept away by the surging floodwaters. The storm brought historic rainfall, nearly two feet in some areas of the island. While casualties are still being counted, emergency crews have rescued over 1,000 people. Now, people of Puerto Rico are left to pick up the pieces. Well, I'll tell you the truth. I didn't sleep. I was sitting behind the door because the wind was strong that it would have taken me with everything. I woke up at 4 a.m. because the house was one large pool. Fiona struck two days before the fifth anniversary of Hurricane Maria, which the island is still recovering from. The Category 4 storm left Puerto Rico in the dark for months, killing more than 3,000 people and causing long term damage to the territory's energy grid. And in the Dominican Republic, authorities closed ports and beaches and told most people to stay home from work. Close to 1,000 have already been evacuated. Nicole. All right. Kelly Beeson, thank you for that. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.